woes joins us now. Uh, we heard from Mark Spears, who spoke to Boogie Cousins a little bit earlier, but more levels to this deal and how yeah. it played out. Woes, what have you learned? Well, listen, with DeMarcus Cousins, yes, the injury played a big part in depressing the market for him. Uh, the fact that there wasn't salary cap space in a lot of places. But here's a reality DeMarcus Cousins had to deal with mm -hmm. and now has to start to rectify in Golden State. His image. There were teams with space who did not want him in their locker room, didn't want him in their organization. And he knows that. And he's got to – he made str great strides in New Orleans as, to turn into a winning player. He got along great with people there. But he has more work to do. He's going to get that chance in Golden State because it was explained to him Demarcus, there's going to be nights when you, you are back playing where you're going to get five or six shots and you can't complain about it. You're not going, this thing's not going to be built around you. You've got to fit into it. And I think this gives him a chance to prove those things to people um, in Golden State. And then for the Warriors, here's something that they really like about having Cousins there. Because he's he will not be ready for training camp, he won't be ready for the start of the season. Uh, maybe December, maybe January, maybe later. Number one, there's no rush to bring him back. Right. They're going to win with him, with with him or without him. And the time that he's away, he's going to be sitting on the bench with Steve Kerr. He's going to be sitting there in practice and games. They're going to get to know each other. They're going to get to build a relationship before he ever steps on the court. And they think that's really important in Golden State. So before this news dropped. Uh, NBA Twitter was all in arms about Rajon Rondo, of all people, joining the Lakers. Of course, LeBron James just agreeing to go there as well. What led into that move in terms of the Lakers thinking to add Rondo? Because you already have Lonzo Ball, who they drafted last year, to be their point guard of the future. Listen, this is a message to Lonzo Ball. I mean, he, you know, his injury, um, that knee injury, I think there was a belief around the Lakers is that, that it was within his world that that got leaked out there to keep him from getting traded. He doesn't want to be traded, be traded from L.A. Right. You know, it wasn't the Lakers who wanted information out on that knee injury. Uh, there were a lot of teams who were checking on possible deals with the Lakers. They wanted to know. There were a lot of questions about that knee. Uh, and they want winning veteran players there. This is, not, this is what you have LeBron James now, and he's 33 years old. And especially Rondo on a one-year deal. Um, they want win now, win, you know, win now guys. And Rondo's going to challenge Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball couldn't stay on the court last year. There are questions about his fitness and the kind of shape he was in. He's coming off a knee injury. You know, they, they need him on the court. So Rondo's, you know how Rondo is going to um, compete. Yeah. And he'll compete internally. I think it'll make Lonzo Ball better to have Rondo around him, pushing him and mentally challenging him. Because there's no more, in, there's not a more intelligent um, a point guard in the league who understands schemes and, and tendencies of other players than Rajon Rondo. He, he's a genius level player. Yeah, he's known around the league for calling out the sets of other yep. teams even before those guys call them out. R real quick question on the Lakers. They said they're trying to win now. They told LeBron that. What's the expectation that they still got some more moves to make here? Yeah, I mean, whether they can bring in another backup center, but they need more shooting. And Rondo, you know, when you're going to surround LeBron James with talent, you need shooting. Right. This is a team that needs more. And, and, and you'll maybe see them start to address it. But everybody wants shooting in the league. There's not a lot of those guys, especially at the veteran minimum kind of contract, which is all they can afford. Well, it was good stuff. Lakers Thanks, making moves, but also the defending champions as well. Again, agreeing to a one-year $5.3 million deal with DeMarcus Cousins. What about the rich getting richer? If ever there was an upgrade, it's JaBelle McGee to Boogie Cousins. I'm on a plane heading out west. This is unbelievable. It's absolutely, positively unbelievable. Boogie Cousins is on the Golden State Warriors. The White Howard wanted to go. They didn't want him. Somehow, Boogie Cousins, they won. It's fresh off an Achilles injury. Brother did average 25, 12, or 5. He can ball, but damn. Damn in terms of the White Howard and even more damn with Boogie Cousins. <laughs> Why even bother playing next season?